All right, that was Breeden McDonald, McDonald and Gene Geneva Jerkins. Please unmute and turn on your cameras. Let's try again. Do you both swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so happy God? Yes. Yes, I do. Thank you. And Your Honor, on this case, it's a petition to establish the parent-child relationship and a petition in suit affecting the parent-child relationship. Um, there is an acknowledgement of paternity for the younger child, Lee McDonald, um, and there is no petition or no acknowledgement of paternity for McDonald. I believe uh, the father, Mr. McDonald, is asking for DNA testing for the um, although there is an AO acknowledgement. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm, I'm... Uh, can she finish talking before you start talking? Okay. So um, I believe Mr. McDonald is asking for DNA testing for the child Lyric. I need to clarify whether or not he's asking he for is. testing for Cree as well. Um, so... I'll go ahead and call the father, Brayden McDonald. Mr. McDonald, could you state your full name? Unmute yourself, Mr. McDonald. You were interrupting her when Bray she was making an announcement. Brayden so Bray McDonald. We had to mute you. You need to not talk over us, okay? We're going to get to it, but you can't just talk over us. All right, unmute yourself and please give your, your name again. Brayden McDonald. I wasn't talking over you guys. Yes, you were. She was talking... And you talked over her twice. Yes. Okay. Mr. McDonald, um, is it correct that you're asking for DNA testing for the child? McDonald? Yes, I am. Yes. Are you asking for DNA testing for McDonald as well? No. Okay. So you don't want DNA testing for the older child? No. Can you explain to the court why you want DNA testing for Lyric? Because me and Geneva is not married. We haven't, we not married. We, uh, we actually separate. We, we wasn't, we was together, but we wasn't together at the time that we deceived, she deceived her. And I just wanted to know if that's my child or not. Okay. As do you man, have a doubt that, do you have a doubt that the child may not be yours? It's, I'm asking for the test for a reason. So, I mean, I'm just trying to be, uh, it's, it's more of a, I have to be safe. I, I want to be safe in, because I help other kids as well. So I, if, by me having other kids, I, it's taking out the other mouths if she's not. But if she is, then it, 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 it wouldn't matter. It doesn't matter. And, sir, do you know why Why did you sign an acknowledgement of paternity for that child, Lyric? I, was, I wasn't aware that I signed a, a acknowledgement. I wasn't aware of that. Okay. And, sir, do you understand that that legally establishes you as a father of the child? I didn't know that. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to tell the court regarding your DNA request? Uh, well, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on other, I have multiple, I mean, I have multiple kids. I have 13 kids as well. I mean, I have multiple kids. I have 13 kids. I have 13 kids. I have 13 kids. I have three, three 18 year olds. I still, I'm still paying for child support for kids that I was married. I was married before. I'm still paying child support for that in Oklahoma. So they're all this, I haven't, I mean, I, I'm just trying to figure out where, I mean, what words is going. Let's get this out. What, what, what this is about to do or what's the steps to the problem, uh, solving the problem. So I'm just trying to figure it out. As the witness, I call the mother, Geneva Jerkins. Miss Jerkins, could you state your full name? Geneva Sierra Jerkins. Um, and Miss Jerkins, um, is it correct that an acknowledgement of paternity was signed? Donald by the two of you? That is correct. Okay. And ma'am, um, are you confident that Mr. McDonald is the father of the child? I'm very confident. Okay. Very confident. We work together. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you want to tell the court? Um, no, outside of, you know, with him, mm -hmm. one of the questions of paternity and not um, is a little bit, you know, beyond me, but hey, um, he did sign the acknowledgement of paternity and, uh, with, it probably wasn't done because we did have her during COVID. 
So um, a lot of things were kind of different, but yeah, both of those children are Mr. McDonald's. And Your Honor, um, I would just like to state that if the DNA testing is denied, um, we will need more time to negotiate the case. Okay. Uh, Ms. Jerkins, how old? Uh, I think it's 18 months. Okay. And she is how old? She's three. Mr. McDonald, other than you just don't want to pay child support, I guess, is what I heard you tell me about when you said you wanted oh, to. Oh, I didn't say I didn't want to pay child support. I didn't say no. I didn't say I didn't want to pay child support. Well, that's essentially what you said, and I still haven't finished talking. I don't know how you're okay. a teacher and you let your students just talk all over you. I don't know how you do that. Uh, we usually talk one at a time. That's what respect is called. And then we wait for someone to finish talking and then we talk. Uh, you've done that multiple times. You've been inter interrupted and you're probably going to walk away and say, I'm the one that's rude, but I'm not trying to be rude with you, but we need to be able to hear each other. I explained this morning that you, we can now shout over each other. So we need and to I apologize. one at a time. All right. Uh, so and I, said, I apologize. So what I heard, I'm still talking. What kind of idiot are you? I mean, you want me to give you, do you a favor, and then you're gonna talk over me, be rude. I don't know how that's convincing. All right. So all I heard you say was, "I got 13 kids. My child support on those kids is gonna be affected because I might be put on child support here. Obviously, this is a child support court, so we're gonna be doing some kind of child support. Uh, I don't know why you have a question as to what's gonna happen." I don't know what the amounts are going to be because we haven't talked about that. But all I really heard from you was uh, if I'm going to be put on child support, then I want DNA testing. I need more information other than that. So do you want to unmute and then tell me what your other reasons are as to why you want DNA tests? Oh, I can speak now, Judge. Your Honor. You want to continue to be rude with me, sir? And I was asking, can I speak now, Your Honor? I was asking a question. I'm not being rude. I was asking a question. Well, I just told you, can you tell me? And you were, and then you could answer, but you're being okay. rude. Again. No, it was a question. It was a yes or no answer to like, I asked the question. But anyway, as I was saying, it's not, it's not that I don't want to pay child support. I just want a DNA test to know that if I am, I'm, I'm about to get put on child support. So I just want to know if that's my child or not. Why am I paying, why am I, why I'm paying child support? Just a father, just a father in the end. That's all. That's all. Okay, so nothing new? Excuse me? Nothing new to tell me? That's pretty much what you told me the first time. You said nothing to me? No, you, I, you, you twist my words, first of all. I didn't say I didn't want to pay child support. I said I want to know if she's my child while I'm paying child support. I just don't want to pay child support for a child that is not mine. Do, will, will, will you? Well, the thing is, you signed a dodge of attorney. That's the, that's the big difference here. If you had not signed that, then there would be no question we would do DNA tests for that child. That's, that's a no-brainer for me. I would do it. But when you sign the paper, and I'm, I'm assuming you're an educated person, the per paper reads that you do not want DNA testing, that you understand you have the right to do DNA testing, that you understand that by signing this paper, you're going to be legally established as biological father, and that you're signing this voluntarily. That's what the paper says. That's what you signed. Okay? So uh, when you sign that, that kind of changes the rules because you're legally establishing yourself as a father and so paternity is no longer an issue. So that's what I'm trying to understand. I mean, just because you want to find out, I mean, the way it's supposed to work, if you have doubts, you're not supposed to sign the paper. You can go do your own DNA tests. And then you can sign the paper, or you don't have to sign the paper. Um, if you, even if you sign the paper, it's been 18 months. Uh, if you had doubts, you could have done DNA testing before today on your own, at your own expense. So I'm trying to figure out why you want the attorney general's office to pay for DNA test when you haven't uh, done any of those things. Can you respond one more time? Anything new that you want to tell me? First of all, man, like I just told you, in the time I'm a father first. If she said, "Oh, my child is my child," I stood up. For, I, I I took the responsibility for that to be my child. I took the proper steps for her to for her to have a father. First of all, and second of all, when she put me on child support. Yes, I want to know, because it's not a reason that she can see me anytime. She can drop my kids off anytime. I, I'm, I'm, I'm well-mannered in all the, all the above as a father figure. So I'm just trying to figure out as a man why she put me on child support when she don't have to. But at the same time, 
I want a DNA test because I, it's, it's my money. It's coming out of my pocket, and y'all have the system have control of that. So that's why I want to. That's why I want to be secure with my answer, secure with what I'm doing. It's just a, it's a mental thing to me. I see the system is playing mental games, and I don't play those. So I want to just figure it out, like I said, the best way I can, and that's the best way I can to get a DNA test. So to, to comfort me, comfort my choice and my decision. So it's nothing to do with me not want to pay child support. I just want to know, just want to know. And if we have to go through her to know, then it is what it is. All right. If that's the only reason, then I'm going to deny your request for DNA tests. All right. So we're okay. going to do an order today. They'll need to go back to the media room so you can negotiate again and we can get to the next steps as far as what we maybe we can agree on or maybe not agree on, but at least try to give it a, a try to negotiate your case. And then we'll see you all later on this afternoon to hopefully finalize your case. All right. So hang on a minute till they send you back to the meeting and then they call you in for another negotiation. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. One eternity later. Okay. The state calls the mother Geneva Jerkins. Ms. Jerkins, could you state your full name? Geneva Sierra Jerkins. Ma'am, uh, what are the names of the children that you have with Brayden McDonald? Uh, um, McDonald and McDonald. And how old are the children? Uh, is three and is 18 months. And ma'am, um, is it correct that there is an acknowledgement of paternity? That is correct. Okay. Um, and ma'am, um, has there been family violence between you and the father? Yes, it has been. Um, and ma'am, when was the last incident? September of 2023. And what happened during that incident? Um, Brayden's mental um, is just not quite there. And I actually was in the hospital um, because I do have sickle cell anemia. So the minute that I got out, my sister let me know that he tried to make a pass at her while I was in the hospital. And I brought it to his attention and uh, it just went from there. He, he punched me, um, not close fist, because of course I probably would have been back in the hospital, but um, jerked me around. Uh, the neighbors around called the police, but uh, I chose not to just kind of go forward with it to kind of save face. Um, there's been times prior to that, he threw my phone out of, the window on 75 and that time he has punched me dead in my lip um and busted it i took pictures of that um i'm taking pictures of pretty much every time that i've had a scar or a black eye or something of that sort but um he was upset because i brought his attention about trying to make a pass at my sister while i was in the hospital and ma'am, um, is it correct that you want a non-disclosure of your address, phone number, email, and other identifying information? Correct. And ma'am, are you asking that you be sole managing conservator of the children? Yes, I am. And are you asking that you be the one to decide the primary residence of the children without a geographic restriction? Yes, I am. And ma'am, are you asking that the father have super visits on the first, third, fifth Sundays of the week from 1 to 4 p.m.? Yes. And are you asking that exchanges occur at the Texas? Yes, ma'am. And ma'am, um, the state calculated um, child support um, at $374 a month beginning April 1st, 2024. Are you in agreement to that amount? Yes, ma'am. And ma'am, um, the state gave the father credit for having three other children, um, and um, that was because he only pays child support for three other children and no other children live with him. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Um, and ma'am, are you in agreement to medical support of $85 a month? Yes. And are you asking for retroactive child support for 12 months? Yes, ma'am. 
And are you asking for a total of $4,488? Yes, correct. And are you asking that that be paid off at $73 a month beginning April 1st, 2024? Yes, ma'am. Pass the witness. I call the father, Brayden McDonald. Mr. McDonald, could you state your full name? You're on mute. Brayden McDonald. And sir, um, has there been family violence between you and the mother? It, 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 I'm going to be real with you. No, it, 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 have, it have been. Ver, 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 verbal and abuse. And like, like she said, she... Is she not? The, she says she. I hit her now. It's it's vice versa. She hits me as well. She was. It's it was both ways. Like I said, and she have a family violence under her record as well as me. She have a uh, child child well child. I guess the child abuse up under her record as well from her from her older from her last daughter that she's that she whooped. Uh, that she had she had, uh CPS was in her life before. So I'm 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 kind of curious. I'm I'm kind of kind of curious about what she was only, coming from. Only answer the question that's asked. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, sir, are you comfortable with the mother having a non-disclosure where her contact info is not in the order? Uh, no, ma'am. So you want her information to be included in the order? Yes, ma'am. Um, sir, are you asking that the court appoint the two of you joint managing conservators where you make decisions, um, both of you? Yes, ma'am. Sir, do you believe that you're able to talk to the mother about the needs of the children together? Yes, ma'am. Um, and that's even uh, knowing that there's been some family violence in the past? Yes, ma'am. Sir, um, are you asking that there be um, a geographic restriction for where the children live? Uh, yes, ma'am. Do you want that to be to Dallas and contiguous counties? Yes, ma'am. And, sir, would you be okay with supervised visits? Uh, no, ma'am. Are you asking for the standard possession schedule? Yes, ma'am. Um, have you ever been violent with the kids before? No, ma'am. Um, have you spent time with the children? Yes, ma'am. Um, have you had the children for overnight visits? Uh, no, ma'am. Oh, have, have I had? Uh, yes, ma'am, I have. Okay, both of them or just the older child? Both of them. Okay. Um, if there is an exchange location, are you okay with exchange in Richardson? No, ma'am. I don't want to go there for it. No, ma'am. Okay. Where are you asking for exchange to occur? Somewhere it's, uh, somewhere in Dallas. Uh, somewhere in Dallas. Okay. Um, and, sir, do you have any health insurance coverage for the children? Uh, no, ma'am, but I have some on her mother. They take out my check every month for her mother. Uh, medical uh, medical with dental bill. You mean for Miss Jerkins? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, and sir, um, is it correct that you pay child support for three other children? Uh, actually, I pay child support for not just three. I have I have the child support papers in front of me. Um, it's more do than you, three. Do you pay? Do you pay child support for three that are under eighteen? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay child support arrears for some other older children? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I have an 18 year old daughter named. Okay. Do you understand that we can't give you credit for um children that are over 18? No, ma'am. I didn't know that. I thought thought as long as they was in high school or or they was in college that I still have to pay child support up to them. I, I just what I was. Next. Um, and sir, are you in agreement to the child support amount of three seventy four dollars a month? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm not agreeable. Um. And is that because you think it's too high? It's too high. Yes, ma'am. And are you in agreement to the medical support of $85 a month? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, I'm not in agreement on that because I could put my daughter on my on my insurance and take her mother off, 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 off my insurance. How much would it cost you to put the children on your plan? Uh, I have to go inside my, uh, my benefits for my job. And see about this situation. I've got to call the benefits people about, about this situation. And sir, um, for retroactive child support, the amount was four thousand four eighty eight. Um, Why? Are you? Uh, in a, oh, oh, 
Are you in agreement to that amount? No, ma'am. Um, do you believe you should get credit for anything for the past um, one year? Yes, ma'am. I've been staying with I was I was staying with Geneva Jerkins for over. I mean, since I've been working at DISD, you know, I have been been dealing with Geneva. I've been dealing with Geneva since then. We just now over this six month period, they stopped talking like this. We done been to trips. We done been to family functions. I buried her mom. I done this and done that. I have done a lot for her family. So about her trying to put back pay on me, I'm trying to see that just numbers, but I don't know. I don't know what that. But I'm just trying to see what that folks have about. No, Do you know, know how much you provided her financially? Oh well, uh, I can go back to my bank statements uh, from the last year, and I can tell you all the stuff that I have paid for, have what I've done, and what what's been going, what what's been going on. Do you know how much you provided? Um, it, it's been it, it it's been it's been about two thousand dollars. So $2, you're asking for credit of two thousand dollars. Yes, ma'am. Two thousand dollars, two to three thousand dollars. Um, yes, and sir, would you be in agreement to pay the child support judgment off at seventy three dollars a month? No, I'm not in agreement with that. No, ma'am. Um, pass the witness. All right, I'm making a finding that um, a family violence, sole managing conservatorship, uh, Miss Jerkins' request for non disclosure is granted. No geographic restriction. Supervised visitation as proposed by Ms. Jerkins with the exchange location. Government medical, child supports $374, medical supports $85, retroactive judgment of $4,488, payable at $73 a month until paid in full, court costs is billed to the father. The Attorney General's office will put that in a court order and they will email you a copy of the have your email address. Y'all are done with court. You can press leave on the Zoom to exit out. Thank you. Thank you.